you know, everyone knows that Kim is the one that kind of tied, tidied up my barn dominium. I did the hard part, the labor part, and she did all the cute stuff. The cute snake! Wow. I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I don't jump like you do. <laughs> so, reason I grabbed my boobs. Kim grabbed her boobs. I say snake, she grabs her boobs. Okay, you did it on purpose. Okay, wait, I need a thumbnail. I gotta have my thumbnail. There we go. That's my thumbnail right there. All right, folks, there you have it. Kim's duck house. Jacob. Okay, hi guys. This is Kim, Lester's sister. Um, he always refers to me as Sister Kim. Like I'm a nun, and I'm not a nun. Um, something's been getting his ducks. So, uh, I've got friends that have these duck houses. And um, I'm going to build a small one for his pond. Mm, the cedar smells so good. And... Um, See if we can't stop him uh, from crossing that water and taking his babies off one by one. So, we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so I had to run grab my camera. This is cute. This is awesome. Alright, so you all know Sister Kim. Kim, say hi. Uh, hi. Kim is the person that takes care of our animals when we travel. Well, which is once a year. <laughs> and uh, when we traveled one time and then uh, Kim also does the uh, she has done all of the uh, help in the little barn dominium Kim's cottage we call it and, and, I, chicken coop. and she helped with the chicken coop and the chicken roost and now Kim has shown up with her newest latest and greatest uh, creation she has built us a floating duck house yes that's right a floating duck house um and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to let it sit here for a couple of days and allow the ducks to get used to it. And then we're going to eventually move it into the water and where the ducks will be able to go to find refuge every night. Are you going to call it Quack Island? <laughs> Kim, what do you want to say about this? <laughs> tell, me, tell us how you constructed this thing. Tell us. I know you made some videos today. Tell me how you did it, though. Kim took still shot pictures. Kim, we don't do still shot pictures. We do we video. We slide them in like you slide things into your videos. We will slide it in. So I see that it's made of cedar. Why would you choose cedar? It's light. Oh, not because it smells pretty? Well, it does smell. It pretty. smells very good. It's, but yeah. it's very light. Cedar is very, very light. Okay, so she used the cedar because but it's very lightweight. I did use the cedar on the bottom. And maybe... And so it. on the bottom we use just regular pickets. Yeah, it's pine, treated pine. pine yeah. Treated pine pickets. And now look at this ingenious idea, folks. The way she makes it float is by a series of pool noodles <laughs> that she... <laughs> yeah, don't laugh. Now, those will be hidden in the water. We set it in the pool to try it out uh, to make sure it floats and it's durable and it's called, what, buoyant? Is that buoyant? Buoyant, yeah. And so it's plenty buoyant. And so, uh, so the pool noodles you never see, they stick right and, you know, they go right into the water and the little house just sits there and floats. So we're going to leave it here and allow the ducks to hang out and kind of get used to it. And then in the next couple of days, once the ducks are comfortable and it's not a, it doesn't scare them, they can move right inside. And then we will uh, put it in the water. And let's hope that that right there alone will keep the uh, predators from coming up and snatching our ducks. We have a... Mom said what, what happens when the ducks crawl in. Oh, that's a pretty picture right there. Go ahead, Kim. Keep talking. When the ducks crawl in and there's a water moccasin in there with them. But I don't I, listen. I think they fight them off all day long. I mean, not I'm fight pretty, them, but they deal with them all day long. I would say they coexist. Ducks and snakes coexist, right? Can yeah. we just not talk about snakes right now because it's they getting will eat, they will dusky suck dark? They head until the chicken dies, even though they can't eat it. Okay, let's just go ahead and get off that subject. <laughs> it's kind of make me want to. <sighs> It's very, very sad. It's very sad to see. Okay, so... Anyway... My question was, do we need to put hay or something inside there for them no. to nest up in? I think they bring their own, right? They build their own nest? Okay, so we don't put anything if inside. If something in there, they'll take it in themselves, but you don't put anything in there. All right, well, Kim, once again, your creativity, your craftiness. Uh, crafty Kim... Okay, that makes that sounds horrible. Can but we yeah. get... She's not for hire because... So they're hide. talking about snakes and stuff, yeah, and I'm going to just avoid that conversation. Okay. This is kind of cute. 
I'm waiting for Jake to show up now. Walk down through here. These guys love getting... Hey, get off! Get off of that! Hey, get off of that! Alright, so folks, what I'm doing here... I'm back... Get off of my side-by-side! -side. So what I'm doing here, folks... Well, here he is now. Here's what I was waiting for right now. Jake, the man of the hour. Alright, folks, so let me explain to you what we're about to do here. So... Let me let me actually pull my four wheeler up a little. Jake, bring my side by side and pull it up, will you? Uh, drive it over here by the yeah. You got uh, get those goats off of there if you can. Somehow, good luck. Okay, folks. So you already know that a couple of days ago, my sister Kim built these ducks, a floating duck house, and so we've given them a couple of days to get used to it. Isn't that pretty? They've had a couple of days to get used to it. They've been going up in it, hanging out at night and stuff. So now it's time to take the duck house from where it sits here on the side of the uh, pond. And we're about to move it inside the pond. And so what we're going to have Jake do, because, well, let's just face it, I'm not brave enough to do it, is get inside the pond. And he's going to have to anchor this duck house in. If you don't anchor it, Otherwise, it's going to float around and get pushed off into whatever spot it wants to. So we've chosen a spot right about over here. You can kind of see where the shade's at. The noon, it's noon right now. So the midday, guys, get out of there. That's not for you. Oh, man. Sorry, Jake. You got to see all this. So Jake's going to go right about to where the, the shade's over here at. Oh, my gosh. And what we're going to do, okay, this is, Jake. He's going to crinkle the tent. I don't think he's going to. I don't think you can get them down, Jake, because they're not going to stay down. You can try. <laughs> that's Blanche, by the way. No, that's Sophia. That's Sophia. Sophia's about to go living with these ducks. Sophia. All right, so what we have over here, folks, let me show you our supplies. Jake is going to take these T-Post and this T-Post driver, and he's going to drive these T-Post down into the water. Jake, you can go right about maybe about two inches or so above the water, all right, where you're going to stop. And then we're going to set this uh, floating duck house here right between each of those T-posts. And then we're going to use the uh, eye bolts that Kim put to tie it down. That way it can float right above the water. The ducks can come up and get inside of it. Yet it's not going to be a problem with any, you know, hopefully if any predators come back around here, it won't be an issue. And, uh, we should be good right there. How are you feeling about this, Jake? Oh, I'm feeling great. You're feeling, Jake is feeling great. Okay, hold on. So let me just kind of make sure we got everything, all these. You know, folks, uh, Jake, just easy, go easy, be careful. I worry, he is my nephew and my brother would absolutely kill me if something happens to his son. Because even though Jake is, how old are you now? 20, 25. 25. It doesn't matter how old you are, you're still my brother's kid. You're still my know, nephew. Guy, he might be less stressed, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. All right, take it easy. You wanna go in where it's shallower? It's a little bit deep right there, Jake. All right, so he's taking the first T-post in. And you can put that first one anywhere around there you want to, Jake. So I'll, I'm, I'm gonna talk real fast. Yeah, careful, just find you a nice little flat spot, Jake, and drive it down about halfway in. So, you know, it's funny in the uh, video we made about Jake last week, he was joking about uh, some of the comments you guys were making. And it was funny because he actually saw that most of you folks live across the country or around the world. Yeah, where's all these Houston women at? Well, the, the joke I was going to make about that is this. So, this is funny, and it's kind of not funny. But, uh... I think that from now on, when y'all make a comment, let me see how, how it is now. Let me see. Pull it. That's probably good, Jake. I'll bring you the other one. From now on, if y'all make a comment about Jake, can you not only put your name, but put your distance from Houston? So like Amanda, 24. You got to come get it. I don't want to throw it and lose it. Put like 
Jeanette, 16. I don't mean your age. I mean how far from Houston you are. No, 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 no. Pull your age, too. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so Jake says if you're going to make a comment and flirt with him, he wants, how are you going to hold that one up while you drive the other one in? I'll just stand on it. Don't you let it sink and lose it. You have to go scuba diving. So Jake wants you guys to put your name, not only your name, but your age and your location or your distance from Houston. You know what this reminds me of, Jake? You've probably never even heard this story. So your how Uncle wide, Lester. How wide is that box? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Uh, Jake. I didn't bring a measuring tape, but give it at least three big hand spans. You can go a little bit wider than that. That looks good right there. Yeah, it looks great, Jake. Drive it right there. Um, so your Uncle Lester, Jake, tried online dating one time. After, uh, yeah, I was between marriages. Before I'd ever met Jamie, she was nowhere in the picture. And... Uh, Everyone was doing the online thing, so I was going to give it a shot. So I met this chick named Ray. All right, Ray. R-A-Y. Cute girl, cute profile. And so I go ahead and uh, we decide to meet at a Starbucks for a coffee. And I didn't really know how online dating went. You can work if you want to, or you're just going to stand there and listen. You want to hear the story? Yeah, no, I want to hear it. All right. So that's good right there. Yeah, let's keep them both. Now, let's not put the third one in there yet. Let's set the house in there first. And so then we'll put the third one if we need to. So check this story out. So I was going to meet this chick, this this uh, lady, Ray, at a Starbucks. So sure enough, she shows up at Starbucks, and she was wearing her smock. Now, she that's a smock oh, is like the little apron that you wear. She had a job at Home Depot. Hold on, I'll help you. Hold on, let me tell the story real fast. No, I gotta keep on. You sure? Yeah. So, oh, you need some zip ties too. So she uh, had her smock on, and her smock said, "Hi, my name is," and there was a there was a blank. You fill in the blank, and it said Ray of Sunshine. And I said, uh, "Here you go, Jake." So you're gonna float it over there and zip tie. Those to it where it's right above the water where it's floating only on the what little buoys. For? Huh? What is this for? That's a little walk up ledge. So that needs to be done like that. Well, yeah, but you can do that when you get it over there and have it facing this way, I think. So I'm like, Your name is Ray? And she goes, Yes. And I'm like, Well, what is your real name? She goes, No, my real name is Ray of Sunshine. And I said, Ray of Sunshine. And so, bottom line is, we begin to talk. And I thought that was cute, you know, maybe kind of hippie-ish. But what I found out is that her real name, folks, she had officially changed her name to Ray of Sunshine. And I didn't understand why. I thought, well, maybe she's just giving, giving me an alias or something. Maybe she's giving me kind of an alias name because she doesn't know if I'm a weirdo or something, right? I'm glad you ran from that one. Hold on. Well, it's not. You haven't heard the good part yet. So all of a sudden, she starts showing me her tattoos. And she had tattoos over her entire body. I didn't see them all. But they're at Starbucks. But guess what? Every tattoo was something to do with the sunshine. And a ray of sunshine. So what she had done was literally, I guess, made herself into some kind of a mythical, my name is Ray of Sunshine. And so she tattooed her body up with rays of sunshine. And that was her thing. And it just kind of weirded me out because in my mind, I'm already older and I'm thinking, how am I ever going to introduce someone to my mom saying, hey, mom, <laughs> this is Ray of Sunshine. And then, hey, dad, this is Ray of Sunshine. Or then, you know, to Ellie, hey, Ellie, this is my girlfriend, Ray of Sunshine. So ultimately, online dating just did not work out for me. That looks good. Now, just pull the other side up to make it level. Uh, well, right now it's like it's unbalanced. So level it up, raise it up a little bit, like there, and then zip tie it to, to the to the yeah, so it can be leveled up. And you may have to double the zip ties up again because uh, when the ducks get in, it may put a little bit of weight to it. And after you get that one in, we'll drive that third post right behind it to kind of help balance it. So yeah, I only did online dated once. It didn't go past that one date, that first uh, encounter there at Starbucks. 
but uh i just kind of realized that uh you don't really know who you, who's out there you don't know somebody till you actually have a chance to meet them get to know them because her on, her online profile made her look nothing like and I don't mean this in a mean way. And if she's watching right now, I don't mean this in a disrespectful way. It probably come out that way. Jake, raise it, raise it a little bit higher. Yeah, well, I gotta tighten it. Okay, <laughs> but uh, you just kind of at a certain point in your life, you want to take things kind of serious. And online dating can be fun if you just want to meet people and hang out and have a coffee. But if you want to get serious, all right, Jake. So actually, can you make it go a little bit lower? Because it's his, okay, just, just just one little notch. You know what, Jake? That's fine. Don't worry about it. That's perfect right there, actually. That looks yeah, really it's good. Not going any lower. No, it's not going any lower. That's good. So, so we don't have it wobble. Let's put that third T post right there behind it. So yeah, I don't tell <laughs> I don't tell that story a whole lot, Jake. So you don't have to repeat that. Yeah, that'll be between that'll be between you and me, Jake. Just tell her I don't live here. <laughs> I'm looking for you. <laughs> That was kind of a joke between you and me. Get it? This video is going to be probably seen by a few people. But uh, no. So I'm hoping, Jake, that if you do meet somebody online or however else, you get to really know who they are well, without being surprised. So you may have to lean that forward enough to tap that down, Jake. Yeah, I will. You, I wish I could help you, but I can't. So it's getting a little bit of water inside now, but that water will drain right out. Don't cut your hand, Jake. Look at Jake's reflexes popping up like that. Watch your other hand now. I'm so happy to have Jake here. We're all blessed to have Jake around. And I'm blessed for Kim. You know, Kim built that. Really? Yeah, Sister Kim. Yeah, Kim's good. She is really good. You know, everyone knows that Kim is the one that kind of... Tied, tidied up my barn dominium i did the hard part the labor part and she did all the cute stuff she's also done cute stuff to all kinds of people's stuff around here okay you did it on purpose What? <laughs> <laughs> okay wait i need a thumbnail i gotta have my thumbnail there we go that's my thumbnail right there <laughs> i love this kid all right, folks, there you have it, Kim's Duck House. Jake, I'm sorry to say this, but can you take two more zip ties on each side and just double them up? Mm -hmm. That way, it'll just keep it a little bit more secure. You got zip ties in your pocket? No, I put them up there. Oh, they're up there, okay. Do you have, uh, do you have some dikes? Some cutters? Oh, to trim it up a little bit? You know what? I didn't bring anything, but can we do that in our next video? Yeah. Uh, so, in our third video, folks, the follow-up, you'll see Jake cutting zip ties. <laughs> oh we had fun reading those uh comments you know uh it's hard to read all the comments but jake did all all three thousand of them jake i'm scarred for life jake is scarred for life it was funny the funniest one i saw was one that said all women over 40 who wants to see jake shirtless again let me get a hands up or a thumbs up or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. there were like 200 thumbs up on that thing Messages Folks, Jake is upset because he's yet to get any direct oh, messages. Yeah, don't be doing that. I'm going to get in trouble. Don't do that. Did you at least get any business business uh, out of it? Folks. Uh, only people that want me to go be shirtless at their place in the UK. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, so you lazy in the UK. Woo. Wait, wait. What? I missed that. What would you say? This one girl lives in Wisconsin. Okay. And I told her. Now, don't say any names. We don't want to embarrass anybody. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember her name. Okay, so a chick from Wisconsin. Yeah. She said, I told her she wanted me to go to Wisconsin. I said, well, you hook me up with some Green Bay Packer tickets. <laughs> okay, if you want to have Jake visit Wisconsin, it's going to require some Green Bay ta Packer tickets. Jake, isn't that called gigoloing? I don't know, but I don't even care if you live in Wisconsin or not. But if somebody wants to buy me some Packer tickets, I'll be all right. Oh, with boy. Something that your Uncle Lester could have never done. Your dad would have never done that. The pond has been cleaned out. I got all that junk piled up over here, and I'll burn that soon. We haven't seen any snakes since that first incident, and I'm convinced that because the pond is cleaner, we can probably keep it more snake and everything else free. All right, everybody, that's the end of this project. If you need any, uh, if you have a task that's too big, and, to, and requires more curves than what you got, call Jake. 
uh, his business card. I'll stick it on the video. And I really do appreciate that, Jake. That looks really, really good. And then the ducks, now they have a lot safer house. A house that can't get jumped on by a bunch of crazy wild goats. I don't think a coon would do that either, but if they walk, if they walk up on the bank, then they're toast. Well, yeah, that was the whole point of Kim building the floating uh, duck house, was to keep animals, uh, hopefully keep my ducks safe. We only have three ducks left. We had seven. Now we're down to three. And the funny thing is, I don't know if any more than three would fit in there. So. Yeah, I don't know. All right, folks. Well, thank you all. Hey, and look who's joined us. L.E. All right. Hi, Ellie. Hey. Ellie shows up after the work is done. You're like a blister. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie's like a blister, and we're going to end it on that note. Y'all get that, right? Yeah. Ellie's like a blister. He shows up after the work is done. Your, your boy blister out. <laughs> showed up. So Kim has just showed up to uh, give the final inspection and to go ahead. How, the problem is Jake's already left, so if there's something wrong, Kim, we're not going to be able to fix it. No. So we get your mark of approval. Yeah. Well, Jake, actually, believe it or not, Jake did the Kim snake. Well, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I don't jump like you do. <laughs> so, reason I grabbed my boobs. Kim grabbed her boobs. I say snake, she grabs her boobs. Kim, sheesh. Now, uh, Jake actually asked, um, if he should cut those zip ties. And I said, yes, but I didn't have anything on my full wheeler to cut them with. No, but it looks really good. It's up out of the water and it's, uh, yet it's, uh, it was about up to Jake's thigh. Um, and yeah. yet it's not so high that it show the little buoys are showing. Yeah, no, no, no. So it looks really good out there. Yeah, it does. It looks cute. Yeah. So let's hope that the ducks will use it now that it's in the water. I haven't seen them get into it yet. But uh, thank you for doing that, everybody. Well, this is Sister we, Kim. She is we, the best.